What's happening, fam? L.A. All Movement still moving. A uh, book is entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. PayPal link there also. They asked me to put it up, so I put it up. Thanks, everybody, for supporting. This video is entitled What Social Media Says About Society. Um, so I'll get online, and there's another person with this ice cream thing that think it's cute, right? But... Couple that with the fact, you know, Disneyland and all this other stuff. And, you know, um, Facebook, YouTube, Snapchat, Instagram, all of the social media sites, right? It's a prevalent thing that people are on social media just acting completely stupid on a regular basis. And it says a lot. Not necessarily, the, you know, something about the people who put up the material. Cucumber challenge and all that other stuff. Um... But also about the views it gets, about the shares it gets, about the likes it gets, um, about the comments that, it, that, that people think is cute and is funny, right? The trolling. Um, you start to pay attention to the fact that a lot of people don't realize, you know, oh, it's just entertainment. Mm, it's social media. We're, you, you, people aren't famous, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They, they, you don't have, you, your skill is just to be on the internet and, and getting attention. That is not actually a skill. But, uh, you know, the thirst trap setting and all that other stuff. And when I, what I start to realize is people don't realize that you're dealing with these people on a regular basis. The, the incident with the... Um, the guy who wound up, from my understanding, who works for YouTube, trying to call the cops on a, on a guy visiting his friend at, at the same apartment complex. Even, and even his child was like, nah, something wrong about this. But he was so bent on, you know, just being a jerk, right? But this says a lot about society because, you know, to a degree, people don't have to have to look at their own evolution and their own character, and their own integrity, and their own um, dignity, and even their their own narcissism or selfishness, and rewind. Because you wind up seeing that people don't even see themselves uh, as, as far as a holistic view, or get a good vantage point of themselves, because everything is so short-term, of-the-moment type of idea. Like all the people who, who keep going up licking ice cream who think it's cute. You know, how do you think it's cute? Like what, like the mentality is what made you think that, yeah, you know what? I'm going to go lick some ice cream. It was hilarious. I'm going to take it up a notch. I'm going to make it. I'm going to be the one. You know, the girls, I'm, I'm, you know... I'm going to suck on a cucumber. I, this is this work. Okay. You know, the, even when they had, you know, the, the practical jokes and the pranks. You know, I saw one earlier this morning. You know, with, with, with a guy getting on a plane and he put like a, like a fart machine in his back pocket and he was hitting it while he was walking past people. And this is part of the issue. Like, you know... This is the real world you're in. And a lot of times people don't realize they take this social media society into the real life society, forgetting nobody is participating in these games you're playing. You're just playing games with random people that you think is cute. And this is part of the problem because when you're dealing with people, people have, have this narcissistic mentality that, you know, they can do whatever, they can make people uncomfortable. Or, or set people off and think it's all for show. It's all for game. You, I remember um, uh, uh, the dude that I was, I'm Tyrone. Like, there's a few times people look like they're about to pull a gun on them. You know, because just because somebody has a phone in their hand or a camera in their hand does not mean everybody wants to be involved in whatever you're doing. And, but the problem isn't necessarily the phone or the camera. The problem is, like I said before, people bring this into to everybody else's real life and they just think, you know, 
everybody's paying attention to them when they're not. You know, now you now you got people copycatting things that they've seen other people do, and they bring that into other people's lives, and then they forget about the fallout because they just thought it was cute and fun. You know, and you know I see it all the time. You know, I, I see it. I was I was driving yesterday, and this guy's in the car with his girlfriend, and they just having a, a conversation. I guess I don't think it was an argument, but both of them are so concerned about talking that they not they don't even know which lane they in. They don't know the lights green. They don't know nothing. So they just driving around the road, consumed about what they doing, not on. As if it's not a whole bunch of cars and other people driving and traffic around them. And this is a problem, you know. And the idea behind what I'm saying is also this um, social media culture to a degree where you're not going to get anything really uh, done because you spend so much time. About to do something, you know. When when you when I would play sports, they watch the film. The film is of the game. Now you see people filming pregame. You know, <laughs> you know it, it's not, it's not really going down right now. But I look good in the seven on seven, and this this can translate to a game. No, it can't. Just just do your job in the seven on seven and just brush up on what you're supposed to do. But there's not there's a that's not a highlight. I'm sorry. It's not real. It's not real live action. I'm sorry. It's just not. You know, but the reason I say that is also because this this narcissistic uh, delusion of grandeur mentality. Everybody's bringing it, it, it with them everywhere they go. You know, the, the, the cat that was uh, flipping out about him being short and, and girls not dating them. They ain't got nothing to do with no bagels, man. Like, he got some issues, cool, I understand. But once again, everybody in that store had nothing to do with his issues. You know, he, he lost it, whatever. But all the people around him had, were not the people rejecting him on social media. All the people around him were not the people flipping out on him his whole quote-unquote life, you know. That's something that he brought to them. But he never he didn't look at it like that. And this is the part I'm talking about with, you know, what social media says about society. And the same thing for years, um, I've been seeing when you see, you, you, you had these conversations and people comment. And I find it odd that a lot of people can watch something that's out of line and keep commenting like, what's wrong with that? I don't see the problem. I don't get it. It's not that big of a deal. That says a lot. When you don't see something out of line as a problem and you don't get it, you know. So, you know, you're a habitual line stepper. And you don't see people crossing the line with other people as a big problem because you don't see your, you crossing the other line with people as a big deal. I was having a conversation with a good friend of mine um, yesterday, I think. Yesterday or the day before. And, you know... They had a conversation with a family member who had to tell them, see, you don't remember the stuff you say or do to people. You just, you know, and you wonder why people are, are, are responding to you the way they do, but you don't remember you said such and such, or you did such and such. And it was like, no, nah, I didn't, I don't remember that. I was like, mm. well, it was like, it wasn't like I was like, but who they was talking to, they, they was telling them, yeah, you did that. You said that. Because they was there. And then it's like, oh, it's like, yeah, it's not, it's not cool, you know. And sometimes people are getting so into character. And I, I got friends like that who they quote unquote get into these characters, I guess. And they think you're supposed to know they got in character. You know, they did something that's out of character because they got into a different character. But you're supposed to know like, oh, I was acting. Um, this ain't a movie. This ain't a TV show. This ain't a play. You know, this ain't a video. Yeah, you was acting a fool. That's pretty much what you was acting, right? And 
this is why I say it says a lot about society because a lot of people are doing this and they're expecting other people to just know that they're, you know, living in reality, but they're out of their minds thinking everybody's supposed to know what's going on, which is completely, utterly ridiculous for you, for you to think that everybody know you off somewhere doing something completely different from the norm. Matter of fact, um, I was listening to um, Nicole Michelle talking about the um, the Serena Williams um, magazine cover. And I actually hope she wins Wimbledon today. Um, but one of the girls in the comment section, she's depicting Oshun. And, she, and Nicole was like, does anybody think that, see Oshun when they see this cover? And the vast majority of the people who... Like, what? Like, no. But see, that other person, you know, in their mind, it was Oshun. And they expect that everybody else is supposed to even know who Oshun is, which made absolutely no sense. But this is part of the problem. You think what makes sense in your mind actually makes sense to the general public when actually it doesn't. Every, every, there's a norm behavior. And everybody knows the norm behavior. And if you're outside of the norm thinking the norm is supposed to know you, you're off. Um, but I'm done with this one. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.